Hey there. I noticed my sister was uh, post. She had posted a, a a recipe for laundry detergent, and I asked her if had she ever made it. No, but she thought that was a good idea. Okay, I'm showing you today how easy it is to make. So instead of using the one bar, I use two bars because I want it a little bit stronger. Um, sometimes I've got stains and things on there that where I cook, I have it all over me. So I use two bars, and then I've got some octagon soap here, and I've got some Bell's NASA. These are old ones. A friend gave me these, and I was trying to use them up, and they're pretty well dried out, so they're, they're well seasoned, so you don't have to lay these out and let them dry like, you know, mostly you do. You, you need, if you've got a fresh bar from the store, and you're getting ready to make the soap, lay it out for a few minutes and let it get dry. Okay, all I'm going to do now is to shred this. I've got a shredder out. Got my guard on it. Whoa, and I think I should have put that on there just a little bit better. Okay. I think I've got that on there. We'll, we'll check it and see here. But, uh, put my bar of soap in there. And it does pretty good on this. Let me turn this around here just a little bit more. So I can handle it just a little bit better. So you know you can shred this up fine on with just a regular cabbage shredder or whatever. But I just went and got this out. It's quick. I don't scrape my knuckles. It's nearly as bad. And this is really dry. So, and it's not usually this hard to do. But where this is an older bar, and it's really dry, you can see it's coming out real well, though. It should melt up real good. Okay, it's just about done. Just about on that one bar. Okay, now for the second one. Let me put that guard back on there. Now this is the fellas naphtha. And it does, does not dry out like the other, but it's if you need it, like I said, to dry out. It makes it so much easier to shred. If I can get that up under there and catch it. Better. that. See, when you uh, let it dry, get dry, it comes out, <coughs> oh Lord, <coughs> like a powder. It, it is a powder. It looks like cornmeal, it's the fine when it comes out. Smells good too. Um, if you've got soap, so fine. If you've got babies and you want to make some for babies, use ivory soap. You know, it's not got any oils or anything in it that uh, are harmful. But um, try those. You can. There's just you don't have to have this kind of soap. You can get, like I said, they have this. Oxford and I also have Kirk's Castile soap, which is good. And Kirk's Castile, you can also make your dish liquid to wash your dish, dishes in the sink uh, with it. But um, we're going to melt this up here, get all this scraped off here. And uh, we'll be back here in just a little bit when I start melting this down on the stove. And the next next step is just 
warm water, not boiling water, and mixing this in. So we'll be right back when I move to the stove. Okay, we have got our water heating up here. We don't want this boiling. You just want it to dissolve completely. So, this is, the water is already hot. There. We'll turn this down some and just keep it stirring so it is uh, mixed up well. So when this is mixed up and melted all the way, I'll be right back and we'll start with the second part and adding our other ingredients. Okay, our soap is mixed in here and uh, it's, it's really melted well into the water and it takes about three quarts of water. I mean that's there's no big uh, science to it. It's just whatever it takes to mix it up. Now, turned it down. Here I've got approximately a one cup of washing soda, that is washing soda, and a cup of borax. Maybe a little bit more. I mean, it's just I grabbed it up and measured it out. As close as I could. Now, there's lots. Just sort of break them up before time. So now we added that to the already melted soap. We stir around and incorporate that in there good and turn off the heat. Okay. I need to get some water right quick, so hold on just a second. I've got the, uh, water into the tub that I'm going to put this in, the five gallon bucket. It doesn't take a full bucket to start with, just enough to get by. And then when it sits overnight, it gets real gelled and thick, and then you have to go back in the morning, stir it up, or eight hours later, whatever, eight to twelve hours later, stir it up and add the rest to the warm water. And I need a little bit more water. Because i got to carry that downstairs, so I don't want it all the way filled. And I will take it downstairs and uh, finish it from there. So, let me get my water. I've got not quite a half tub of water, or half five gallon bucket of water. So, right now, I'm going to add in my ingredients from here. So you can see it, and I don't have to move so much. Well, oh, there was a lump or two in there. I got stirring it up anyway. Now this is warm water in this five-gallon tub. There. Take my whisk and I sort of whisk it around. All those lumps will not be lumps tomorrow. And it is really thick, thick, thick. So, eight hours from now, we are going to come back, fill this up the rest of the way with hot water, stir it up. And that way, 
uh, we will have five gallons made. And it's only for a fraction of what you would buy. Uh, it made in the, it already done in the store, like the Tide or anything like that. I hate to say the brand name, but it's just as good as that. And for your rinses and stuff, you use vinegar. It just takes everything out and takes all the old detergent you've got in there out as a rinse. So that is as easy as it gets. And when we come back tomorrow, I will fill this up and we'll finish off the video. And uh, that will be it. So, hope you like this. Okay, I told you it was going to get really, really thick, so it has. And it is going to be a really good batch. Now all I have to do is stir it and start filling it in with hot water. And that's going to make five gallons. I can put some hot water in it right now. And start stirring it. If you don't get all the lumps out, you know, you, you can work at it. It will it will eventually work out. And I am going to let this I'm going to stir this up for a little bit and then add some more water. And I will be back and uh, add some more to it and finish it off. And we will have five gallons of really strong uh, detergent. Okay. Talk to you in a few. Okay, here is my five gallon tub of laundry detergent. You see, I stirred it up, and look at that. It's got a big, oh, big, thick suds on it and everything. I'm not going to fill it up all the way because I have to take it downstairs, and I'm going to fill it up the rest of the way. And that will be my laundry detergent. Now, if you like dry detergent, then you can take and just run the soap, you know, after you shred it, run it through a blender until it's just powder. Then add it to the uh, borax and the uh, super washing soda. Stir it up really good and use like one tablespoon and that right there will do for a uh, good size wash. And uh, that is how you make that, and that is how that you save money for the other things in life you need to use that money on. Ain't no use paying a big deal, big, you know, fifteen twenty dollars for a, a a half a gallon of uh, Tide when you can make five gallons for what uh, five for what uh, a cap full of Tide would cost. So enjoy this and use it and let me know what you think and you can always add essential oils into this and make it like lavender smelling um, lavender anything like that that you like a fresh scent there is got the you know like the morning fresh breeze scent and all that that you can add to it so you could try that and I think that you will really like it so have a great day